Well, it's World Cup qualifying weekend, so no games for Reading or Southampton. But there's still lots of football to look forward to. Starting in League One, Swindon are still searching for their first league win since August. After beating Hereford in the Cup during midweek, Morris Malpass looks set to name an unchanged side for tomorrow's home clash with Huddersfield. Reading and Southampton had the weekend off because of the international games, but there was still a very busy weekend of football. Swindon and Aldershot both suffered defeats, but it's the Robins manager who's in the firing line. The pressure's mounting on Morris Malpass, and he was given no help by his players on Saturday. Despite outnumbering the Huddersfield attackers, Liam Dickinson was able to put his side ahead early on. Swindon were given the chance to reprieve themselves when Michael Timlin was brought down inside the box, but Simon Cox's penalty was saved by Mac Lennon. The goalkeeper immediately launched the ball forward, only for Kevin Amanqua to misjudge the bounce. Gary Roberts smashed past Peter Brezovan to double their lead. Some poor defending led to Huddersfield's third. Jack Smith thought he'd spared Brezovan's blushes with a goal line clearance, but Tam was still punished for failing to get the ball out of the danger area. Michael Flynn with a great finish. Swindon had chances to reduce the deficit, but only found the net two minutes from time. Town's fifth consecutive home defeat was greeted by boos at the final whistle. Fans believe the manager is the problem. There's no point crying over Spock now. It's done and dusted. We can't do anything about it. We must learn from it. But it's disappointing because, as I say, it's in front of the fans who uh, demand and deserve a bit more excitement at home. A contrast at the county ground where angry fans confronted the manager after this fifth home defeat in a row. But Maurice Malpass insists his job isn't on the line. His side were behind inside six minutes, and then after top scorer Simon Cox had his penalty saved, Huddersfield took just 20 seconds to get the ball up the other end and score again. A third was to follow before Craig Easton finally scored a late consolation, leaving the manager to face those fans and the media. Look my position, if you want to ask anybody to ask the chairman, I believe I'm fine. Uh, if the chairman thinks different, so what? I don't have a problem with it. Uh, the fans are quite right to give criticism, that's what they, they pay their money. I'm uh, thick enough skin now and old enough in the game and experienced enough in the game, I've just got to accept it. If I start spitting back at the fans, we'll beat them.